Hey guys and gals out there, it's Alabama Deep and coming back at you. <coughs> okay, so I have the Gruen watch sitting right here at my disposal. And I am can't wait to get into this watch. Uh, sounds a bit chattery inside. And I'm trying to decide, looking at my uh, camera, which is the best angle for you? I guess right here shouldn't move past that. Okay, so we'll see what we can do. So first things first, I'm looking at this watch. If you can tell by looking at it, I'm not sure how well that is. First thing I notice off the bat is uh, the clear coat finish is coming off of the dial it's very flaky on the inside i got bits and pieces of it i got the ventilation system going simply because this watch is very hot as i was told by quite a few people i was given a warning about this watch that i should have a mask on and have good ventilation going so I do have that. Ah. This is a little bit different than the others that I've seen. There is a lock ring on the back, which works a lot like a screw down case back would. And so I'm using my case back tool for this particular model. And I am working on taking off that back. Looks like it has come off. Okay, so checking on how my camera looks, everything looks good. Uh, gonna go ahead and pitch it out there. This watch case is moving around inside. I'm not gonna wear any cots. I'm gonna be a little bit brave with it. Ugh, wow, that is dirty. And this is a bumper. Look how beautiful that is. Give it a little bit of a thud. Oh, doesn't want to go. Wow, look at that dirt. <laughs> it's just coming up all over the place. Okay. I want to see if I can get that going. Even just a little bit would be nice. Ah. Doesn't want to go, does it? And it's stopping. It's beautiful on the inside. I mean, it really is. Whoosh. This thing is absolutely filthy on the inside. So I take it that that is just, uh, just a pity uh, that it's not wanting to run. I'm gonna take a look back at my screen. Yes, you can see the watch in it, very good. So I'm in the right area. Uh, so, 
thing I'm looking at, if I just want to get this watch running, is first and foremost, uh, I'm giving it enough time to air out. There is uh, some radium gas buildup, I'm told, in these, which isn't really good. Uh, you've got a lot of radium particles inside. Quite a bit of arm cheese, it looks like. And really, I just want to breathe some life into this watch. I mean, if I could just have it going just for a second, I would be incredibly happy with that. Uh, don't know if that's really going to happen, though. Uh, this watch is extremely dirty on the inside. I'm thinking it's probably going to need an entire break down. So we may not get it in this video, but I will try nonetheless to at least get it running. That would be a great feat if I can get this watch going. So I have a little bit of Earl. I have a little bit of other surprises in here that I might be able to get it going. And I know there's a lot of people out there going to be like, oh, I can't believe you're actually going to just get it running without breaking it all the way down. Well, I mean, that's exactly what I intend on doing. I want to see if the thing runs. If it runs or tries to run, I can diagnose it as a running, possible running watch. And that means I can go ahead and break it down as normal, clean it. And if I see any issues with it, well, then guess what? I can... Do a little bit of repair here and there on it with a good servicing and it should run. But let's diagnose it first. Let's have a look. Okay, let's not get the horse, you know, behind the cart or have the cart ahead of the horse, however the hell you want to say it. Uh, let's just take a look, see, at what it's going to take to get this watch running. And maybe that's how I should say it. So I don't get people yelling out at my videos. Okay, well, I don't see exactly what I'm looking for in my kit. I guess it's in my main bag, but that's okay. Okay, so we have this watch, and we're going to... Try to get as much dirt and debris out of there as we can. Yeah, it looks like it wants to stop. Can't say I don't like that too much, because I don't. All right, so first things first, what I'm thinking about doing is I'm coming in here and I'm looking at this. Looking at that little cap jewel. Oh. Let's be gentle. So I got the uh, cap jewel for the balance wheel. Jesus, that small. Do we see how small that is? Woo! That's a very small jewel. We don't want to drop that, do we? So I've got it with one hand. Using my left hand. I'm not going to sneeze at all. If I sneeze, I'm losing that jewel. I've successfully put Earl into that capsule.
Let's see if I can put it back in. Ah. Mm -hmm. I just dropped the jewel, which is fine. I'm glad it landed somewhere where I can actually see it. So let me try to pick it up. I flipped it over successfully. I'm dropping it, picking it back up. I'm going to drop it on purpose to get it to flip over. Oh, see how I almost lost it. I've got to redo my uh, tweezers. They're starting to duck bill, which is not good. You gotta have just about the right amount of pressure on it. Dropped it in there. Now it's back out. This can be the most tedious part for me. On a pair of messed up tweezers that are duck billing, how much pressure do I need to put on it? It looks like I do have it back in almost. Uh, it is back into its <sighs> I'm going to go ahead and close Must be very careful with this. Got one in. Let's get number two in.
Let me try to do it this way just a hair. I do have uh, it back in place. I've got to get this one little stubborn side down. It looks like it's in to me. Actually, no, it doesn't. Well, let me just try. Now it's in. <laughs> you know, that's always scary for me. Oh, and I'm trying to get something in like that. Oh, boy. Woo. It could just be uh, scary. Oh, look at that. And it stopped. Skunked again. Look at there. It's going a little bit more than what it was, but then it just wants to stop. All right, we're making a little bit of improvement, but I'm probably going to have to break this watch down fully. Let's take a look. See, okay, I see a little bit going on there. Let me uh, see what I can do with, with escapement. I'm going to come in here. Very easy, like... A little bit on the escapement. No, still no. Get a little bit more power. For God's sakes, Alabama Deep, do not use your fingers. And put this back on. I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to touch that. Touch that right there. And let's seal the deal. Right here, just a little bit more. Okay. I just want to stop again. Oh, yeah.
Let's see what I can see in there with the rest of this. Not terribly too much. It is winding. Winding function is working. I see it winding a little bit at a time. All right, so let me see what I can do here with this. Get a little bit of a blow. Tinker with it. Just a little tinkering. And I'm hoping that we can go ahead and check in on it. Yep, you can still see it. All right. I don't hear any tick. Wondering what all do I need to do to this? It's incredibly dirty, I can tell. Let's see if I can see that escapement move. Well, I think I know what I need to do with this. Oh, it pains me. This one's not going to start like all the others have recently, which I've been very fortunate with. Oh, boy, this is going to need a whole breakdown. So, okay, we will do a whole breakdown. 
It's very pretty, but this is a, uh, people aren't familiar with what a bumper watch is. Okay, so you have a fully automatic watch. Well, this one is what they turned into. But you have a spring here that catches that weight. That weight unscrews from this. This comes back around and hits that other spring. And it does a half turn. And that's what winds the watch. Just like an automatic that would spin 360 nowadays, this one only went half. And you can hear it winding in there. But yeah, that's very dirty. It probably just needs a servicing from what I've seen. But no, no, I'm not going to be fortunate enough to have it start right up. Like all the others have. Eh, stops halfway. And uh, yeah, that sucks. I was really hoping to have something done today. Uh, you know, let me give a couple more minutes for you guys and gals. I'm really coming inside here doing what I'm doing right now because I'm trying to see if uh, I can get one of these nuts to move so I can see which one of these pins I need to pull. Screws to unscrew, that is. I think I know which one it is, too. I saw it move just barely. So I think I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. So, let me come in here and let me see if I can undo one of these little screws. So, oh, let's see what I can do here. Way too big. That should be enough turns to pull the stem out. No, it's not. It's so hard to tell which one to do. Let me tighten that back down. Certainly this isn't a push rod. Yeah, that will push button. Certainly not, not for this era. And that. Luckily for me, it bends back out a little bit. Yeah, it's bent back out. Okay. Let me see. Oh, shit. It is a push button. How about that? I never would have guessed that. I never would have guessed in a million years that that was a push. 
seemed like to me with these all these vintage models that it would be not a push at all. I have no idea. Hmm. So, so I put a little bit of Earl on there. After I got my little boiler thing straightened out. Okay. That's going to take, take a lot more than... Okay, well, hit the push button again. Okay, so let's see if we can plop it on out. Nope, doesn't want to go. So, come on in here, let me kind of Do here. No. Without forcing it. Now, what is this? Huh. Okay, that's interesting, folks. What's some type of gasket? Look at that. Ooh. Some type of movement ring? And it comes right out. How about that? Wow, look at all that corrosion. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna need something more. For sure. It's a nice case. Quite damaged. Okay, so yeah, that tells me everything I need to know. There is too much corrosion, too much of everything going on with this watch.
for it to even run today. I mean, that's just not going to happen. That's just, uh-uh, not going to happen. There we go. Snap back in. I'm not even sure. I've never even seen one of these before. I think I get it though. It's back in there. Okay, wowzers. All right, let's button it back up for tonight. Um, sorry, guys. Gals, let down. It's not going to run. There's a lot of corrosion going on on this. Uh, so this tells me that I'm going to have to do a lot more to it than just putting oil on this one. I'm seeing corrosion everywhere. I'm just seeing all types of stuff. That's not on all the way. Before I do button this all the way up. Yeah, it looks right. Alright. I was looking at that cap to make sure that there wasn't a particular place stuff had to be. But, okay, I guess it makes sense. That gasket joins with the back case. That's what keeps the water out. Okay. Pressure on both ends can 
help get this thing started. Let me just do it like this. If I put pressure on it and turn it just a hair. And do it like that. Yeah, there we go. It's back on. Excellent. Cool. Well, okay, guys and gals, this is going to do it for tonight's video. I can't get the watch running. It is too far gone. <coughs> it's going to need complete and total servicing, so that's what we're going to do. Before we go, I do want to look at one other watch. And uh, I know nothing about this watch right here. This is a complete and total disaster, too. Uh, this watch here, I'm not even sure what the heck it is. I was wanting to look at it, though. I figure y'all can join along with me on looking at this one. So, let's have a look-see. This is a, what type of watch is this? I'm not even sure what type of watch this is. I got this off the internet for five bucks. So we're gonna see Possibly what's going on with it, if it'll open. Uh, okay. Yeah, I was going the wrong direction. I don't know. Let's just have a look. See, at it just for shits and giggles. Wowzers, that one's kind of hard to open. Okay, there we go. Not quite sure what's going on with that. That was a took forever to open. Oh, that's kind of pretty. That looks like that's a uh, ST96, maybe. Quite possibly. Let's see what's going on with it. Okay. Huh, you know, this one looks like it's in really freaking bad shape too, but it actually kind of looks like it may start to run. And I would like to have at least one watch running. We got a little bit of Earl on there. Yeah, I'm not doing this the right way, I know. Thank you, people, for pointing that out to me, saying I'm doing it wrong. But really, this is part of my diagnosis process on an old, dirty watch. I would kind of just like to see, hey, you know, Will it run at all? Okay.
Okay. I just want to see if it's going to run. Because, you know, some of these watches will surprise you. And yeah, it probably still needs a full cleaning. Absolutely, it needs a full cleaning. No, no argument there. What the freak is going on with that? Woo! Oh, it looks like it's wound too tight. Okay. Well, let's see if we can unwind it. You know, let me just see something here. Let's do something stupid with this one. It's fully wound tight. Can't get the clutch to move without hurting the spring. So let's do something really stupid. Let's take off that screw. Got the screw. Well, let's do something really stupid. <laughs> let's just go ahead, watch this spring off into nowhere. Got it. Got it, I think. Got it. Let me grab it before I release my grip. Oh, you bastard. Comes out and then it goes away. Add it out. There it goes, and I got it. Okay. And we just let go on all that tension. Okay. I got the little screw pieces right here. What this come off of? See, we don't fully know, do we?
Oh, interesting. A little bar here. I'm not sure what that little bar goes into. That click has a uh, spring already built into it. Which I think is really cool. I bet you that goes back in there. That goes back in right there. Not sure where that little bar came out of, though. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try to put it back together and tighten it down. I'm going to hang on to that little bar. I'm sure it goes somewhere exactly where I don't know. I didn't pay attention to that part. It came out from somewhere, though. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Alright, so that's back together. Let's see if a little bit of boosh will get this one going. <laughs> almost, look at that. See, it almost wants to go, doesn't it? That should be enough power, I'm thinking, to get it going. It wants to go, but then it stops. And I think I know why. That watch is magnetized. And because that's magnetized, that one spring won't let it do its full cycle for the balance. I have to get my demagnetizer out, which I don't have with me. But okay, I got that little bar. We don't know where that goes to, but we're gonna figure that out. But okay, I just wanted to check this one out too before we ended the video for the night. And, uh, I'm just not batting a hundred tonight when it comes to getting things to run. That's okay though. This will be coming up on a watch video more than likely where I'm going to be fixing it and nurturing it back to health and all that good stuff. So push you back into here. Not sure what the little bar goes to. We'll make sure that bar is in there. Let me double make sure the bar. Yep, bar's in there. Got the bar there. Got this one here. We're going to put it into a case. And then we're going to go ahead and call it a night, folks. I'm sorry. Batting a thousand on you tonight. But nonetheless, hey, we got to see some cool watches. What makes them work on the inside a little bit. And as soon as my watch area is put back together, we are going to be in full swing again. So tonight was just curbing my appetite for fiddling with stuff, which I know a lot of you people out there learning how to do this, you have the same appetite. You want to work on watches too. You want something cool to play with. And that's what we did. And we achieved that. So I didn't get it running like I was wanting to, but nonetheless, that's okay with me. Guys, gals, I appreciate you watching tonight. Uh, sorry we couldn't get anything going. That's all right. We will in the uh, days and weeks to come as we start fiddling with more and uh, these will require full breakdowns and we will do that in future videos 
first James Bond watch, give me a comment. Is it the first James Bond watch? Do I have the wrong reference number? I've seen two different reference numbers, three different reference numbers out there. Fill me in on what they consider the first James Bond watch. Guys, gals, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Help me out with YouTube's algorithm. Let's get more subscribers. I would like to get up there to where I am actually monetized. That way I can start doing more with watches, fixing more Rolexes, free giveaways, things like that. That's really what I, where I want to get. So if you guys and gals can help get me there, I would greatly appreciate it. Once again, thank you for watching. This is Alabama Deep, and I am out.